The Nissan Z is back and genuinely better than ever. It's packing more power, beautiful retro styling, and pricing that makes it a solid value. The new Z, which drops the numerical prefix, remains close to the mechanical formula honed over the last two generations. It looks revolutionary and more upscale than the previous 370Z that has been around for a decade. This latest version of the sports car is not quite all new, as it's based on the old 370Z but it's heavily updated. The design of course is more retro than ever, with its nose inspired by the original 240Z and its tail based on the early 1990s 300ZX. Also like the 300ZX, the new Z features a turbocharged 3.0-liter V6 in either a manual or automatic transmission. It all comes together to deliver what you'd expect from a traditional rear-drive sports car, a playful, fast-driving experience that looks good. Nissan keeps the lineup pretty simple, too. Besides the transmission options, you have a choice between a more basic sport trim and a performance trim that includes some additional handling and drivetrain goodies. Back in 2005, the 350Z sold more than 25,000 cars. Now, sales are less than one tenth of that, and the new car will have to compete against the similar and highly engaging Toyota Supra, as well as the revitalized, albeit less expensive and less powerful Subaru BRZ and Toyota GR86. Pricing for the Zay starts at $41,015 for the base sport trim. The price is the same whether you go with the manual or automatic transmission. Upgrading to the performance model brings the price to $51,015, and it's again the same price regardless of transmission. Before we get into more detail about its specifications, don't forget that we have a bonus fact for you towards the end of the video. With that out of the way, let's get into it. Number 1. Drive The new 2023 Nissan Z drives as though the company ran through a checklist of problems that plagued the 370Z and fixed each one, starting with the drivetrain. A 3.0-liter twin-turbo V6 sends 400 horsepower and 350 pound-feet of torque to the rear wheels via a 9-speed automatic transmission. That's up from 332 horsepower and 270 pound-feet in the 370Z or 350 horsepower and 276 pound-feet in the Nismo Edition. It's torque, responsive, and feels powerful even high in the rev range. It has a throaty, if slightly mutant intake noise that's fun too. Handling is predictable and fairly well-balanced. Steering is a little odd, feeling light at low speeds and rather heavy at higher speeds. The chassis is definitely stiffer than the 370 Zs. It feels as solid as the Sopras. The suspension has a good tune for street use. It's firm but not punishing, and there's just some mild body roll. The 2023 Nissan Z also muffles exterior noise well and tamps out road imperfections nicely. Nissan focused on refinement and daily drivability rather than trying to hide the old platform's weight by making the new Z feel stiffer and more aggressive. The result is a mature sports car that still a joy to drive and also serves as a worthy addition to the Zay lineage. Number 2. Performance Unlike most competitors, the Zay has a single-engine option, a twin-turbocharged 3.0-liter V6 that makes 400 horsepower and 350 pound-feet of torque. That's more power than its closest competitor, the six-cylinder Toyota Supra 3.0, but slightly less torque. Power goes to the rear via your choice of a six-speed manual transmission or a nine-speed automatic transmission. The base sport model features an open differential, but up Upgrading to the performance trim adds a mechanical limited slip differential. It also adds larger brakes with four piston front calipers and two piston rears, sport tuned suspension, launch control, a higher top speed, and rev matching for the manual transmission, which can be switched on and off. This new engine and transmission combo results in significantly improved acceleration figures. The 2023 Nissan Z ran the 0 to 60 miles per hour sprint in a best time of 4.3 seconds and completed the quarter mile in 12.9 seconds at 107.6 miles per hour. Those times are notably quicker than the ones put up by the 370Z in 2017. As the old car mustered a 5.2 second dash to 60 miles per hour and a 13.7 second quarter mile. Your choice of transmission will affect your fuel economy. The automatic is the more frugal model, returning 19 miles per gallon city, 28 miles per gallon highway, and 22 miles per gallon combined. 
The manual drops the economy to 1824.20. Both are less efficient than the Supra 3.0. Number 3. Interior and Technology the Nissan Z interior is a great blend of modern technology and retro looks. Last past Z models, the center stack is canted toward the driver, as are the three analog gauges on top of the dash. Soft touch plastics are used across most of it, and the design really pops with some of the two-tone color options. Perhaps the biggest advancement from one Z generation to the next are the big, vivid, and easy-to-read screens. The instrument screen can be configured with different and graphics and information to fit your preferences. It can even show an impressive amount of information about the Zay's mechanical bits. In addition to the basics, such as speed, revs, fuel, and coolant temperature, it has readouts for engine oil temperature and pressure and differential oil temperature. Coupled with the analog turbo boost pressure, turbo RPM, and voltage gauges atop the dash, you'll be constantly aware of what's going on under the hood. The infotainment system is also user-friendly and responsive and incorporates Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Number 4. Exterior The reincarnated 2023 Nissan Z sports car draws elements and aligns from the prior six generations, resulting in a design that is both fresh and immediately recognizable as a Z. It has the classic long, sloped hood and wide rear flanks that evoke the early versions of this storied nameplate and numerous little details, like the grille and taillight shapes that Nissan enthusiasts may recognize. The Z is a bit smaller than the Ford Mustang and a Chevy Camaro and it's nearly the same size as its closest competitor, the Toyota Supra. There's also a Proto spec for the performance trim. It's meant to emulate the Z Proto concept and comes with a two-tone yellow exterior paint and a matching yellow and black interior. It also gets bronze painted wheels. It brings the price of either the manual or automatic performance model to $54,015. Number 5. Storage As for cargo space, Nissan hasn't given official numbers, but car and driver reports it has 7 cubic feet. That's smaller than the Supra's 10.2 cubic feet. With just two seats and a relatively large trunk, the Z is a perfect choice for a pair of people to make a great escape for a long weekend. Its character is significantly more relaxed than that of the 370Z. Number 6. Safety Features The Nissan Z comes reasonably well equipped with driver assist and safety features, automatic emergency braking with pedestrian detection, blind spot monitoring, rear cross traffic alert, lane departure warning, adaptive cruise control, and automatic headlights are all standard. Thank you for staying with us this far. Here's a bonus fact as a token of our appreciation. Did you know when Nissan first showed the new Zay in public, its grill was seen as controversial because its too boxy shape gave it a sort of a dopey bug-eyed look? What are your thoughts on this lovely Nissan? Comment down below and let us know what you think. If you enjoyed the content, uplift the channel by hitting like, subscribe, and ring the YouTube bell to meet us again in the next video. Until next time.